Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Something really cool um, that I just did was built a box dulcimer out of wood. Um, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to show people that you can have a quality instrument um, for really a cheap investment if you can do just a tad little bit of woodworking, okay? So I'm gonna talk you through it. I've got free plans. I'll put the link down below on my website, mandytiner.com. And um, I've got free plans, step-by-step -step plans, where I take you through each step. <laughs> my dog is really thirsty. It's very hot. <laughs> but um, I've got the, the cut list, everything. You only need to make a couple of cuts, okay? Because this is a rectangle, all right? So um, this cost me under $80 to build, okay? Uh, more like 70 because we had a lot of this stuff laying around. But for definitely for under $100, if you need to buy a few of the things here and there, uh, like your sealant and stuff like that, if you need to buy that sort of thing, you're gonna be, you know, adding a few more dollars. But this is very inexpensive and you will not believe the sound this thing makes. It is awesome. Okay, so what, one thing I wanted to do that was very important to me was I didn't want to mess around with the fretboard. I wanted a sure thing, okay? I wanted frets that are in the right spot and I wanted them to be leveled already to where I didn't have to worry about that part of it, okay? So this is the biggest investment you're gonna have in this project if you choose to go this route. Now, if you're really a good woodworker and all that, you can make your own fretboard. I didn't want to mess with that. I wanted to make this as easy on myself as I could, okay? So here's what I did. I contacted Dave over at Backyard Music and he is gonna do this for you as well, okay? And this is in my plans. You can shoot him an email and say, I want the Mandy fretboard. He knows what that is. He'll charge you 50 bucks, okay? So for 50 bucks, he will send you a fretboard that is already fretted already has your six and a half and your 13 and a half fret installed, okay? It'll be fretted exactly like this. You will get your end pins. You will get your bridge. You will get your nut. You will get your tuners and you'll get a set of strings, okay? For $50. I really don't think there's anywhere else you could do better on that anyway. But, and this is quality. So he'll make that up for you and ship it out to you for 50 bucks, okay? So that's your biggest investment if you wanna go the route I went there, all right? And for me, it was a no-brainer. I don't wanna mess with fret leveling and all that sort of stuff. So, okay. So the next thing you do is you go to the hardware store and grab yourself a piece of laminate plywood, okay? This is five millimeters thick um, of laminate plywood. Now they had, it's over in the craft section of places like Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, but I got a two by four by five mil piece. Okay. And they have birch plywood. That's a little bit nicer there. This was the underlayment one, which is the cheapest one I could get, which was $10 for the board, um, at two feet by four feet. And that leaves you a lot of extra room to make an, a smaller one or a different one if you'd like also. Um, it also gives you a whole extra piece if you mess up on your top. Say you mess up on your sound holes or something, or you have some sort of a blowout or something you just don't like, you can cut another piece and that gives you another piece. So my board was like 1050 or something. I can't remember the exact price. It's in all my plans. But you grab that board and you can see that five mil thickness there. It's still pretty thick and it gives you a lot of space to sand. I mean, you, you have a lot of sanding room that you can do there. But, um, so you grab that piece and that'll be your top and your bottom. All right. And that's under $11. Then you grab you a piece of poplar. I went with poplar just because it's a light, easy wood to work with. You can get, I mean, if you want to spend more and have it way more, you can get oak. You know, they have all kinds of stuff. Um, I didn't really want to use pine though, but so poplar. Okay. So I got a, a piece of one by three by six poplar, okay? And that's gonna be your four sides of your box, okay? And so all you need is two pieces of wood there, all right? And 
for your cuts if you do not own a table saw. We don't have a lot of tools, but we happen to have a portable table saw. So we were able to rip the poplar board in half. If you don't have a table saw, it's okay. At Home Depot, Lowe's, or any hardware store, you can get them to cut that board in half for you. So just get them to cut that whole length in half for you, and then you can make all your cuts you need with a jigsaw, and you don't have to have a table saw, okay? Or a skill saw, either one. A uh, skill saw or jigsaw will do just fine. Okay, so all you need is those two boards, and uh, the other things that you might need if you don't have are some varying grits of sandpaper. Um, we use 220 sandpaper for the bulk of the sanding to, to get, because when you put the box together and you glue it, um, you're going to get some wonky uh, sides and it might not be perfect. It might not, you know, it, I wanted this to be quick and easy and not high difficulty, okay? So if your box has, you know, a little piece of the wood sticking out, you're going to have some of the wood sticking out. And you can just sand it beautifully because these pieces are nice and thick. You've got lots of room there to sand. And this underlayment um, plywood laminate did a great job. It took to the sanding very well. And I didn't have any problems, okay? So you may need some varying grits of sandpaper. I would get 220 and then uh, maybe another one up. I don't know, 280 or something? I, I'm not sure after that. But your finishing sandpaper you need also is 320 or even more if you want it to be. I mean, this is perfectly fine for me and playable and smooth. So I don't need anything more than 320, but if you want to go more, you can. Um, and obviously you could build this out of um, higher quality and more expensive wood as well. Um, but I wanted this to be cheap yet quality, okay? So then uh, sandpaper stain. We had this stain laying around that I stained the fretboard with. I stained it and it was called espresso, which is very dark. And then I just sanded it back a little bit to give it that grain. You can see the grain and stuff there. But that was just some stain I had laying around. And then for the sealant on the box, I didn't want any color. I just wanted to go with, with natural. So I used this um, spray on stuff that we uh, that we had laying around because we do a lot of different projects here. So um, we just took a wire and hung it from one of these holes um, from a tree. We have a line between a tree and we just hung it up, sprayed our coats on and then sanded it again um, before attaching the fretboard, of course. But you'll see all of my plans there if you want to check that out. I do hope that you will, um, if you're you know, interested in, in checking this out and trying it. I hope that you'll let me know and send me pictures and sound samples, whatever you got, because that is really awesome. You know, I, I get asked a lot. I get asked a lot. What is a good dulcimer? Is this good? Is that good? Is the other, you know, if you don't have the money to invest in you know, like a folk craft, which I do recommend folk craft. I love their products. And um, if you don't have the money for that though, instead of buying one of these, um, like I'm not gonna list any names, but there's some, some cheap ones on Amazon that I don't really know their names, but anyway, uh, I wouldn't, you know, they're like 150 or something like that, dollars. Mm -mm. For less than a hundred, you can have a very nice quality instrument. Um, and you're not even taking a chance on it like you would be with one of these uh, other things, you know. And I, I appreciate builders and I'm not putting any builders down here. That's not what this is about. This is about if you wanna try out a fun woodworking project and then still have a quality instrument, go ahead and, and check this out because it's really awesome. Um, so, the plans are a hundred percent free. I don't want anything from you. I would just like for you to send me pictures and tell me how the build went. Maybe send me a sound sample. Um, but I don't, you know, I want people to build and, and try this out. If you have always thought about maybe trying out a dulcimer, but you don't want to invest that, 
check this out. It's cool, you guys. You can really do it. And um, the only thing I've added since the plans, which that's up to your preference, how you want to build your box. But I just added some strap buttons because I'm a lap player and I like to play it in my lap. Um, we actually planned for, I planned to make a false back and I actually have the piece of wood cut and the piece of wood left over if I wanted to make the spacers to make a false back, to make it louder. It's loud enough. Wow. You don't even need that. I may still do it, but you don't need it. As for the whole pattern, make whatever you want. Um, you know, use whatever you got. We had some hole saws in different sizes and a drill bit that we used. You don't have to get fancy with it. You can be simple with it, whatever. Um, I did do something here on purpose, though. I didn't want anything here. I like to play using this uh, entire space here as a thumb rest and things like that while I play. So uh, having nothing there is kind of nice for me. Um, but, and I kind of think it looks like a, a smile. <laughs> but uh, you can do whatever you like there, of course, and you don't have to get fancy. But um, I know you want to hear this thing, so uh, you won't believe. This wood is so thick compared to a regular dulcimer. I mean, even the five mil, that is so thick. And then you've got the sides of the thing, which end up being close to a quarter of an inch thick all the way around. And you're like, how can that make any sound? Oh, the sound is beautiful. I'm going to tune it up real quick, and then I'm going to play it for you. And you're going to be amazed. It really sounds nice. I, I don't have all the fancy microphones and everything. I'm just using my iPhone mic here but um this thing sounds awesome it is church ready this is ready to be played in church and just boom okay so let me um get hooked up here with my strap and tune it up and you'll hear it <laughs> 